This getting started video will focus on four things. Different ways to set the capture area, how to add shapes, how to trim, and how to share a selected region. Let's take a look at setting the capture area. From the settings window, click the select area button. This lets you choose what you will record. It doesn't have to be full screen. You can choose any area on any display. You can see here I'm pressing the one, two, three, four buttons on the keyboard to quickly choose between common web sizes. I can also hold down the option key and drag the mouse around the screen to select any window under the mouse. Finally, I can press C to clear the entire area and I can just draw any selection that I like. And notice when I've done that, I can use the arrow keys to resize or reposition exactly as I want it. Now we'll take a look at adding some shapes. You can use this to highlight areas of your recording to viewers. So, place the timeline where you want the shape to show up. Now click the appropriate shape in the toolbar. I'll choose here a square. Shortcuts work here as well. Go to the top, which is the scene. Click, hold, and drag to draw your shape. You can now reposition the shape anywhere within the scene just by clicking and dragging. And you can also change its size and its rotation. Below in the timeline, this is where you can change for how long the shape will appear. So you can see if I stretch it out longer, it will show in your movie for a longer period of time. Right, now let's take a look at trim. This is a very easy method of cutting off the footage that you don't want, either from the front or from the end of your project. So first thing, we'll press Command-0 to zoom or fit the project to the timeline. And let's make sure that we can see the trim handles. And what I'm going to do is grab the left-hand trim handle, there on both sides, and move it inwards to the point where I want my movie to start and then release. You'll notice that everything is deleted on the left hand side and everything is shifted left. Okay, let's look at sharing. In this particular example, we're going to share just a region of the project. So if you go to file and look for export selection, the shortcut is command shift E, uh, then all we need to do is select the range to export. This is the yellow selection range. We do that press enter and you'll get the standard export options. I'll choose 50% because I don't need the full size, H264 and press export. So that's simple. 